everybody, Darwin Fortuna here. We are with the Flow Design team. We are our new space. And many of them, even though we have all worked in many projects, we have not worked in projects together and gone to construction together. So what a better project to look at that we're on office, right? So what do we have? So right here, we, as soon as you walk in, we have this sort of reception little area because we got feedback that as soon as we people walked into the space, there was nothing. There's still nothing there, right? So it's like, oh, hello, you know what I mean? So now we have this reception area, which uh, thanks to Nicole and Marcos working on the interior side and Julio also, we now are gonna have a very interesting wall. So uh, uh, this wall is not going all the way up. It's actually just a filter. And this segment in here, we're thinking about having it with a stucco, sort of heavy and strong uh, finish. And then this area, and this is why, one of the reasons why I was calling everybody on Saturday, even though I didn't want to bother people, is that this has to be framed differently because this is a six inch, five and a half inch uh, uh, wood stud. You guys see the studs. Typically, you don't use that for interior construction, but we wanted this to be very thick, very strong. This one actually is a three and a half because we're going to have a sheetrock finish that's going to be put in here, painted, and then a wood slat that's going to look very nice. Now, the wood slab will not be see-through. It will just be applied to the sheetrock to create that texture. And that same is going to be at the other side too. So you're gonna have that nice wooden feel um, in half, half size. So here we're gonna have our logo, flow design. And we were thinking that this, is, this makes for a great stage too. Like we could have presentations here, have a camera, you know, a little table, coffee and all that. We're gonna have our TV there as you guys remember from the drawings. And I'm explaining it even though everybody knows it, just because, so you can see it, right? Like now we can see it. You probably have heard clients like, oh, I can see it now. Um, so a couple of things to keep in mind. We were debating whether this should have been metal studs or not. You guys probably, some of you know metal studs. They're, they're thin, lightweight metal studs. But uh, in this case, it doesn't need to be because this building, you see the beautiful structure we have, it's already made out of wood. So it is um, heavy timber, and because of that, then um, it wouldn't make any difference to use metal stud. The fire rating separations and the requirements wouldn't really trigger anything. So that's, that's really the reason why we, we made it all out of the wood. So and the two by six, again, is to make this big statement. It's not structural, this wall's not structural. Um, we, and also, we try to cover this, this column which we're gonna have to do some magic because as you can see, this column is actually a little bit thicker than that. So we're probably gonna have to apply something to it so that it completely disappears. I actually like it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I actually wish they, did, they they'd leave a reveal. I don't know, because it's like a different tone. Or maybe we could use the same material that we use here, there, or something. Yeah, maybe, yeah, something like that. So that's another thing. The design process doesn't end when you guys like stamp drawings ready. No, no, no. We are designing as we go, we're designing as we go. So now we have this nice buffer zone. Thank you, Julio, for providing, where's Julio? Yeah, well, providing this, uh, this uh, buffer zone here. But we're gonna be walking into our main sort of work area. And in this work area, we're all going to be in one strip, one line. All of us are going to be in one line. So the main workspace is gonna be all one line. Nice views of the outside, plenty of natural light. I was freaking out on Saturday for another reason. So when you guys do, when we do design, we do multiple iterations, many drones, right? And then we realize that something isn't the way it should be, maybe we should change it. Well, it turns out that this wall, at some point, was aligned in between the windows and this window. And it was because we were trying to avoid the lights that were right above it, right, Julio? We were trying to avoid the lights that were right above it. And then at some point, the electrician comes here and says to me, Darwin, we're gonna change all those lights anyway. We're gonna use high efficiency LEDs, right? So why not, you can do whatever you want. And then I see the renderings that Nicole made and I'm like, which one is it? Like, I, got, I was a little confused, but then I realized, no, 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 no. This is what we're gonna do. The workspace is gonna work. We're gonna have plenty of space. We even on Saturday measure our current space to make sure that we have space for people to walk through without bumping into each other. So that's gonna work. And so, but I saw it when they were, imagine me opening the door and seeing the wall here. And I'm like, no, that's the wrong space. That shouldn't be there. But it turns out that it, it is right on the right spot. So our conference room is going to be bigger than our previous conference room, which is really good. And we're gonna have more space to be able to move around um, 
when we're going to keep it very clean. You know, we know that she's, Cesarina is going to be ensuring that we keep it clean. And then we have here or other sort of like, we call it seasonal area for like, you know, uh, probably an intern is going to be here. You know, Cesarina can work here with the intern, keep an eye on them and things like that. So this area is going to be mostly for that. Here, we ensure that the openings are all the way up because we got to take advantage of the height, this beautiful height. And this other one's going to be also all the way up. Our interiors uh, department closet is a walkthrough into the kitchen. So we're going to have our interiors here. So we're, we're thinking of probably some shelvings. Um, that part still to be flushed out, but generally this is interiors. And of course we need to have a closet, a private closet. So a couple of things to think about that as we are, since we are the builders, the architects, we are everything for this one. We have to look at the lead times. The doors, the pocket doors need to be ordered ASAP. And that's another thing yes. that, that we were trying to make sure that we had. So this isn't necessarily centered on the space because you know, the leaf of the door needs to go into the wall. So um, good thing our Reverend model, our Reverend family is really good. It shows how deep it needs to go. So that's there. So um, generally there was very little demo that we had to do, like just this little wall. And we have this column here, but overall, this is kind of the gist of it. The kitchen is going to be right where it is, right? Nothing to worry about there. Uh, we created this opening for where the door is going to go. Actually, no door. This is just going to be an opening. So. Um, so yeah, generally this is this is the office. This is what we're doing now. So um, next step, we need the electrician to come in, which is critical because we've been having po power problems. So I'm going to make sure that the way the power and the tail data is laid out is perfect. We're gonna have high power areas here on this closet. You know, um, we're gonna try to ensure that because the kitchen is gonna have a full refrigerator. Ooh, yeah, right. Um, so that's gonna need some power requirements too, and we're gonna ensure that we keep it as clean as possible. Anything that comes up, like any ideas that you guys have, anything that you see, this is the time to incorporate it. You know, like how the audio is gonna be, I'm thinking that probably the conference room, since it's completely separated from the other side, could have its own audio, so that we can have our own music separate from that or whatever, so we don't have to turn everything off. Exactly. So that's, that's one. Um, you know, and a couple of key things that we're doing. So these grills that provide supply and returns are going to be, uh, we're gonna have to put a trunk into the conference room and we're going to dedicate one trunk into the um, uh, server room for those computers there and probably even a fan so that we have that, you know, isolated from the rest of the space. Um, insulation wise, we don't need it. It's not an exterior wall. We don't, we don't you know, unless we wanted some sound separation from one side to the other but it wouldn't really need insulation. Um, we're gonna put the new floors right on top of this. We decided that that's probably the best way. So you're just gonna lay it right on top of it. We will end up using our little reveal around the walls that we have, whichever walls we have the reveal. So that's going to be an opportunity to see that flush reveal. And um, the lights are gonna be really nice. I have a spec for them. We already ordered them, but this is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be amazing. We have our workstation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, and that's it uh, on my own, unless anybody has any other questions or anything, but this is it. We were discussing uh, with uh, Pedro, potentially insulating like the conference room to create more a sound, you know, because right now if you just put sheer rock, you know, that sound is just gonna travel through. I think so makes that's sense. something that we might need to consider. Um, you know, just and cost wise, we are good so far because I was concerned about the cost of the lumber yeah. and I got the bill. This is it. <laughs>